Imagine playing the sport you love with only one leg or one arm. For the U.S. amputee soccer team, this is their reality. Now, after a strong showing at the Amputee World Cup last summer, these athletes have a new challenge. This team doesn't want your sympathy or to be an inspirational story. They want you to come watch them play. USA 3, 1, 2, 3, USA! The athleticism, the physicality, and the IQ of the game puts them as elite athletes. It is fierce, and it is competitive. It's a contact sport, and you give everyone metal forearm crutches, so it's like people are banging into each other, people are falling. This is the official USA amputee soccer team. I think people might have an idea when they hear amputee soccer what it might be. you got to come see it to believe it, really. Every player on the field has one leg and is on crutches. Dr. Eric Lamberg, a Long Island native, has been head coach for nearly a decade. Some people had traumatic amputations. Some people had childhood cancer and lost their limbs. So each one of them has their own um, story of how they got to where they are here. OK, go. Let's go. The goalkeepers are upper extremity amputees, or in the case of new goalie Aiden Bradley, it's both. All right, nice save. The training session inside the SDA facility in Clifton, New Jersey, marking an extremely important moment for this program. This is the most amputee soccer players ever gathered in the United States. The most ever for a sport growing in popularity and opportunities bringing in new players from across the country. Let's go, guys, bring it in now. Building on momentum after a solid showing at the 2022 Amputee World Cup that Fox 5's Jody Goldberg first told viewers about last summer. Anytime Anytime someone says you can't do this, I have the mindset of watch me. Katie Bondi is from Ohio. This is her first practice after a below the knee amputation because of a MRSA infection. If a door closes, you just have to find the open door instead of just, you know, sitting and not doing anything. I can wake up every morning and I'm grateful I can walk. Veterans from the national team have their sights set even higher. I lost my leg when I was seven. By every measure, Musa and Zrimo's speed and soccer skills are elite. I always be fast. His journey to the team began in the Democratic Republic of Congo when he was seven, playing soccer on a field at the height of a war when a grenade went off. So we tell her it was uh, the grenade we tell was a ball. Then we started kicking it around and then it blew up in front of him. He ended up in Syracuse, where he received treatment, never giving up on his dream, and found the national team, scoring a crucial goal to beat England last summer. That was amazing. I mean, I was scared of England, because I usually just follow their manager, man. They're nice, they do their thing, but once I got out there, I just showed them that I'm just different. Ooh, nice. My son Mateo and I invited to pass it around with the team during training. To see them in action in person, well, just ask Mateo. What do you think about this practice so far? It's amazing. Talk to me there. And that's why team captain Nico Calabria thinks this sport has so much potential. We weren't sure if it would get this far, so it's really is kind of seeing like the dream come to reality. He's hoping corporate sponsorship will lead to a paid league, building off regional programs already up and running in the U.S. We don't want the pity story and we don't want the inspiration story. We're tired of those. We want meaningful support and access to the sport. It's the goal, another challenge to overcome. Their coach knows for these athletes, that's part of this game. All these new players have found us and want to be a part of this because they see it as something else that they could aspire to become. And the coach says a three to four day training session like that one out there in Clifton, New Jersey and other parts of New Jersey costs as much as 20 or even $30,000. Many of those athletes have financial challenges of their own for obvious reasons. It's another reason the coach is hoping investors can see the potential in those incredibly dedicated athletes.